it feels like convenient in a sense because there's a pandemic happening right now and we're really working on preventing another one. We're focusing on that future aspect. It's like people want to worry about it later. So the New York City Virus Centers is a novel, like new community design initiative, and it has been started by Biobus, and it's in collaboration between Biobus, which is a community center and outreach center, a research clinic, um, which is the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York City, and an animal wildlife clinic, which is the Wild Bird Fund. I actually conceived this idea before the pandemic happened. Should I just postpone it? Is it actually possible? Is it safe to go with students outside or actually bring students into the laboratories? In the end, I just settled to, you know, of course, the safety first approach. You know, we keep giving you neurological ones. These pigeons are like, they're all over New York. We interact with them every day, even though like we don't really necessarily touch them. They're like around our houses and everything. So basically it's very important to see what diseases these pigeons have to determine like how it affects us. Okay. Somebody grab them. Somebody grab them. Somebody grab them. So I'm really excited to just see like out of all the samples we do and we have collected hundreds and plan to collect probably a few thousand samples. Um, the goal is to sort of see like, okay, what percent of those come back with some virus? I'm sort of the scientist mentor uh, to the students or to the junior scientists, which is what we call them. I want them to feel like they can always ask anything to me. I thought I was gonna be like kind of grossed out, but then I was like, oh, this is this is kind of fun. This is kind of cool, like taking samples and then uh, knowing that this is data and that I could find something. It's like something really exciting. Okay, so did you guys finish with uh, this, this this lacy guy? Birds are really the key to understand what influenza viruses are out there and also a key in understanding which ones are dangerous and which ones are not. Most viruses don't do harm to humans or even to animals. There are just many, many, many viruses out there. Some of them are actually also beneficial. There are scientific questions that we are trying to answer, uh, but there's also other things that we are trying to do with it, including science outreach and uh, enhancing uh, careers of, of, uh, of uh, students and make sure that they get exposure to virology and to STEM in general. Like on one of those machines where you're like attached to a string, you're just pulling in a straight line. So you just hold it down with these fingers and pull up with these fingers and same for here. So each of you can do one. Where I live, like all you really had was like the school right there the library was pretty far away and transportation was like kind of limited. So I needed to like really stick with what I had in my own home and like use the books that were like left over from my older brothers kind of. My biggest role model was probably my mom, my dad. They came from the DR, the Dominican Republic, and they came here just so like me and my family could have a better life. And they're like my inspiration because they helped me get like what I need to like be successful. And I want to be there for like everybody, in fact, like to help them become successful, help them live sustainable lives. It, it was very hard for me at first because normally I'm a, I'm a messy person, like disorganized. So when I was like doing the pipette thing, like my hands just start shaking. But then with practice with the pipetting and stuff, you know, I was able to like get like the most like minute details that exist. So that's the PCR you just ran. In the first grade, my science teacher, he bought like a, a basket of worms and beetles. Everyone else was like disgusted, but I really wasn't because it was like the worms I was used to seeing because I was like digging the like the dirt. So it was just nice like seeing all those little bugs just like crying and how like those little things like exist in our world. I really love animals. Like 
every type of animals except for like I don't like insects the pandemic kind of taken it away for a lot of people like I have friends who like kind of lost interest in science I think one thing that the pandemic did made me in touch with nature more and realize that there's more to life than kind of like my phone you know I wouldn't be able to like see different species out there with all this experience. Thank you.